what fine urban real estate construction and interiors can get you if you're in Uganda. impressions when you are walking into a house will be felt at the entrance. So we take care to make sure that your first steps into any house that we have designed or built give you a feel of what it's going to be like going into the house. So here we have lovely steps leading you into the house and looks like up here we have a little niche in there so you know we're going to have a light. So whether it's day or night, you have a really clear view of where you're going. We don't want any accidents here. And now we are at the top right next to the door and I have to stop and talk about the pillars. There is something that's quite grand about pillars at an entrance. And this is why we have taken it on as a design element that we want to implement when we're working on these houses. So here we've kept them really, really simple because the main experience is going to be as soon as you walk into the door. And now I'm looking up and I can see this even introduction of the simple gypsum designs that we'll be seeing. So, et voila, let's take a step into this beautiful home here in Boucher. <music> Welcome to the house. Let's take a step in. As always, we have the signature doors from Fine Urban, really high, really wide, making sure we're getting that light inside the house. You can see over here, we also have the big window, which will have views to that beautiful perimeter wall and all the other features that we're going to have outside. Now, the main thing I really want to focus on when I talk about how we've completely transformed this space, you're going to see that in the sizes of the rooms and how we, have, we are using different techniques to make it make them feel even bigger so I've talked about the light here you can see by the tile selection we have chosen really really big tiles in a light color that still has some warmth to it because this is the living room area so you do want to introduce an aspect of warmth and welcoming and coziness and after all this is a farmhouse and as for the gypsum when you're looking up there we've kept things very, very clean and simple. I think more and more as we're doing these projects, you will realize that we're keeping things a bit more toned back because we have recognized that these are things that age really, really well, no matter where you are. So here we have a big space that feels bigger thanks to the selections we've made, thanks to having these big white wide openings. So we're moving from the living room into the dining slash kitchen area. Now you can see over here we have a bit more going on. That beautiful tile has gone all the way. That is another technique to keep things kind of moving and looking more vast. If you have a tile that follows through to a different room, it really does expand the space. So now we are in the kitchen slash dining area. I am seeing a very beautiful table here. Now I have said time and time again, guys, if we're doing your project, whether we are renovating or we're completely transforming or we're building from the ground up, you do have the option of us also bringing in your furniture. We pride ourselves not only on the workmanship of our craft with the tiles and the building, but also in selecting furniture that is also going to age as beautifully with you and your family as the entire house will. So you'll get to see more of this as the project goes on. So let's take a look at the kitchen I am seeing the making of a really beautiful counter and a built-in cooker with a hood over it. I'm seeing a matte black sink over here. This gives us a glimpse into what kind of colors we're looking for. As always, we're going with neutral tones and also things that are just made of really strong quality materials, things that will really work very well for our client and their needs. You can see over here, we already have the built-in oven and the microwave. I'm seeing touches of what we want this house to feel like. It is a farmhouse, but it definitely has a very modern feel to it. Another thing you'll notice about this space, even if those things weren't there, you are going to be able to appreciate the fact that we have a beautiful continuity from the living room. Not only do the tiles follow us to this direction, but if you look up, you can see that we still have a very dynamic gypsum design, very excellently done. Again, with the light from that side, that big open window is allowing so much light to flow into this side of the house. And then on this side of the house, you can also see we have multiple windows. So we have 
this opening, we have this one right over here, and then we have the one that goes right into the kitchen section as well. So all around, this house is super, super bright, and I'm sure as we're bringing in the paints and we're doing more work in here, we're making sure those colors are going to continue that theme. So we're gonna start looking at the bedrooms. We're gonna go down this corridor. I remember the last time I was here, before we had done um, this first coat on the wall, this bare white coat, it did feel quite dark, but I am so happy to see this house truly come to life. The first door that we are approaching is the common bathroom. Looks like we might have a shower in here and a, no, no, actually, might, we're gonna have a toilet bowl and a sink in here. I'm loving the beautiful tiles on the wall. I've always said this, no matter where you are in the world, no matter where you call Fine Urban, you're always going to get the best quality from us. And that, you can see by the wall tiles in here, is just a testament. It's a true testament and a very visual representation of that ethos. So we have a nice sized bathroom in here. And speaking of this corridor, you might have noticed these little spaces in here. That it always means we are going to have a very creative use of some cove lights. So down these little ridges here and also down there. But of course, also when you're looking up at the gypsum, we are going to be playing around with cove lighting in there and other aspects of lighting just to make sure that this house is bright at any time of day. So we're gonna go to my left. This is bedroom number one. Oh, I love it. I love the spaces in this house. They're just enough. When you're building your dream home, that's what you want. You want a room that feels like, whether you have a child who's three or whether you have someone who's 50 years old, whatever furniture is going to fit in here is going to be able to cater to those people. And I think that is the main point of building a dream home. You want a space that ages with you and your family. And also you can have your guests in here and have them feel really, really comfortable. So you do need something that has quite a bit of space. Now for this project, we did have to do quite a number of adjustments just to make sure that each and every room did feel very, very spacious. Again, I'll ask you to look up at the gypsum design simple circular designs. And if you have been watching this channel long enough, you know there's something that a circular design does to me. I'm like, it's the simplest shape, but one of the hardest to do. And to see our fundis implement this design time and time and time again in different ways is just amazing. I love how simple this is. And I can't wait to see once we have that beautiful centerpiece and the cove lighting playing and highlighting all the beautiful details of this. I'm going to keep pointing out that every space has these big rectangular windows that are almost floor to ceiling, which again, that light is penetrating every single corner. Every room, if I'm not mistaken, in this house is ensuite. So let's, we're gonna see that as we go. But here again, we have the beautiful wall tiles, the floor tiles will be in soon. And this is what the layout of this particular bathroom is. So over here, you're gonna have the shower. Looks like it's gonna be a rainfall shower because I can see we have our tap over here. And when you look up, you can see that little hole right there in the gypsum. That means we're gonna have a rainfall shower and it just feels so magical. I love the feeling of just water dropping from the ceiling. You're never gonna to wanna to leave your shower. And I really am being our client at this moment. But yeah, we're gonna have a sink over on this side and then we're gonna have a toilet bowl over on that side. Another big, lovely window here. And keep in mind as we're going through, look at the shapes of these windows. Look at how consistent they are. Look at the numbers that we've chosen for each room. Look at the placement of them because these windows not only play a role inside the house, but also on the facade of the house. So when you're walking around a fine urban project, whether you're inside or outside, you will see that there's been great consideration for symmetry and aesthetic pleasure for your eyes. So let's like take a look at room number two over here. Another spacious one. Something I like to do as I'm walking through these projects is tell you guys which room would be mine, right? I love the room we just came from, but this one feels much bigger. Might have something to do with this big, lovely window over here. I do love a massive window, so you are getting plenty of light in the space. And then there's a little nook over here. I haven't even mentioned cabinetry so far. So these rooms, as always, we are going to customize the cabinetry for each and every one of these rooms. That's the only way to ensure that we're still keeping the vastness of these rooms 
and also creating a lot of storage. When you don't customize things, you find yourself having to squeeze these bulky pieces of furniture into spaces that just don't fit. And then you're like, it's not even enough. Like, so you're taking room away from your space and it just gets clunky and it's a headache and dream homes are not supposed to be clunky and messy. So when I see a nook like this, I know that we're either going to create a very beautiful shelving unit over here and we're still going to have all this space to have your headboard and you can tell by the electrics. I always say, keep an eye out for these because we've done the plumbing and everything at this stage. So you can usually tell where we're planning to place things. So you can see by the electrics over on this side, looks like we're going to have the headboard here. Looks like this could be a TV. Perfect, that is absolutely perfect. And then you're gonna have your light switches over here to your bathroom. Let's take a look at this one. <gasps> oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Look at the tiles on the ground in here. Oh my God. I talk about how like when we're doing like a farmhouse, we want to implement designs that really speak to that. Like you'll walk in and be like, okay, yeah, it's really ultra modern. It's really, really classy, but I still feel like I'm in a cozy farmhouse somewhere in Bushenyi, in Uganda. <laughs> so these tiles with that warm tone and that wood feel is absolutely perfect to play into that. And here as well, we have the wall tiles. I just love how muted and warm the tones are throughout. And I cannot wait to come back here and actually see the finished product. So over on this side, we'll have the shower. Again, this is gonna be another rainfall shower. We're gonna have our sink and our toilet bowl. This might be the room for me. This is only bedroom number two, but it might be. I also really like the gypsum in here. It's very similar to the one we saw, but this shape is just like a, a square. It's a square or a rectangle with like rounded edges. Classy. You want a feel of softness in every room. And I think those rounded edges are the perfect touch. So let's go into room number three. We might be in the master bedroom, you guys. Might be in the master bedroom. This feels like a walk-in closet. This is definitely a walk-in closet and you know, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting to come back when we're building it out and doing the heads and hers and seeing where the vanity is gonna go and the openings for the bags and the shoes and the, oh, it just creates a dream. I love walking through our walk-in closets. Now we are in the main space, yeah. Yeah, I feel it. This is the master bedroom. It is really big, y'all. This is a big space and I can't wait. I've talked about how you can have a smaller space and you're like, oh my God, it's gonna be so difficult to design because it's easy to clutter it. But bigger spaces actually can have the opposite issue of like, okay, I don't have enough stuff in here so it feels bare. So as the project goes on, I'm really waiting to see what personal touches we're going to incorporate into this space. What kind of bed we're going to choose, what lighting fixtures, what um, side tables, if there's lamps anywhere, if we're gonna create a small kitchenette. You know, there's so many things we could do in spaces like this. So I can't wait to see what this particular client has asked for in the master bedroom that is going to make it unique from everything else. And here I Again, we have a very simple gypsum design with a little step right over there and I'm sure we're gonna have a strip light right up there so let's take a look at what the master bathroom looks like Oh, the spa feels like I love that that's something that we do as a company wanting to create an experience where you're like I'm in my home but I feel like I'm in a relaxing spa and the selection of tiles the dimensions we choose the textures the colors really really play into that feel and then where I'm standing you can see this clear separation of where we're going to have the shower again another rainfall shower looks like we have a provision over there for a big old tub I love me a tub like who needs to leave their house when you have all these amenities within your own home? You can literally come in here and I'm sure we're gonna even play around with the lighting to add on to that ambiance. Of course, we have the big lovely window letting in light. I always try and visualize 
you have the sun pouring in, you know, you have your warm water going and you just, you have your music going and you're taking a shower or you're in your tub. It's later at night. You turn on the ambient lighting that will be in here. You have your glass of wine. You have a display area. It smells beautiful because you put out your candles. Like it's just a vision. And I love the fact that even at this stage of this design, Fine Urban has clearly communicated what the intention is, how you should feel in this space. And it gets me super excited. So we're gonna have the toilet bowl over there and the his and hers sinks over here. Guys, just make sure that you are subscribed because I'm so sure next time I come here, I won't even recognize this house. Just like I was so shocked coming here today. I was shocked because I remember when I first came to this project and walked around, this does not feel like the same house. We have transformed it. This really could just be a whole new construction, honestly. This house is unrecognizable. So for the master bedroom, we have a big old opening and we will get to that side, but we still have more things to see on this side, so follow me. So here we are in bedroom number four. We have floor tiles in here. Nice, and the tones are consistent. When you walk in, you are greeted by the bathroom to this room. I can see in here we have different colors on the wall, but still playing into those tones I was talking about earlier. We have those browns alongside those whites, continuing with that feel of warmth, beautiful layout. And then here, uh, this one is the, I feel the smallest room we've seen so far, but still quite spacious. Some of these spaces, it's all about how you figure out the layout. I often say that about bathrooms, but also bedrooms, it really, really matters. You have to keep in mind for this room as well, it does need cabinetry. It needs a really big comfy bed that will fit in here and still give whoever's gonna use this room space to walk around and have things really easy for them. And we do that. Guys, you've seen us design so many different spaces. You have seen us work with some of the biggest rooms and some of the smaller ones. So I guarantee you even this is gonna get the luxury touch from Fine Urban. So I can tell by the wiring that we're gonna have the headboard here. This room also looks like it's gonna have a TV right over here and also has beautiful light. The view from here is incredible. I am looking at is a banana trees? Is that what you'd call it? Or matake trees? Guys, let me know in the comments because I'm just seeing so much green and lush and hills and sky. It's absolutely wonderful. So whoever's gonna be in this room is really gonna have some eye candy to look at every morning. So let's continue. Gypsum design, simple as always. So we have to continue and go outside and take a look at what's going on over there. So now we are heading outside to a structure that I love with my whole heart because it's so multifaceted. And I think it's one of those spaces that truly speaks so we understand that the kitchens within your house, especially when it comes to a farmhouse, you don't want to do that, that major cooking. We all know. I often talk about nyama choma and ugali, and we have the same culture here in Uganda. I have had a chance to speak to a couple of Ugandans, and it is intrinsic to bring your family together and have these massive meals. So in the, in the interior kitchen, you know, you'll do your light breakfast and maybe lunch for two, but if you really want to cook for the family, this is where you do it. We have this structure. This was a complete new build by Fine Urban. We have our classic long steps leading into the kitchen. Et voila. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Last time I was here, there was no space to walk into. We had started with the foundation and I was trying to give you guys a general idea of what things, I was like, yeah, this is where the kitchen will be. But now being here and actually feeling out the space, it's huge. And this is what you need. I will reiterate time and time again. Fine Urban is all about building dream homes. We are building dream homes, things that will last for years. So when you see a space like this that has so much room and you're like, why would you want that? You're gonna need it. As your family grows and as you want to come together, you're gonna appreciate spaces like this. So 
What are we gonna do in here? We're gonna have a cooking area, of course, tons of cabinetry, massive sink in here, all the amenities that you need to make sure that you are catering to each and every person you invite to your home by cooking all their favorite meals and having space as well to come together and cook. I always talk about how aunties and mamas and sisters and cousins are gonna to come together and be like, let me cut the tomatoes and let me cut up the meat and like help each other. It's such a community space, this kitchen. And then of course, we had to create an area for laundry as well. You don't want to be bogged down with laundry within the house. And if you've watched any of our videos, you'll know this is not our first rodeo when it comes to laundry rooms. There's a really beautiful one I am thinking of in Runda Havana. There's a great one I'm thinking of in Mudaiga. Like there's just amazing, laundry rooms and you know it involves cabinetry and then fitting in all the utilities that our client needs you want a space where they can do their ironing and folding and let's not forget the tile in here is really important you need to make sure that you're choosing not only the right colors and textures by dimensions to make sure that those spaces don't actually feel out of place it would be really odd to have some marble glossy tiles in there <laughs> it would be really really odd so over here, we have more space. We have two twin DSQs, that is detached staff quarters. So let's take a look. You can see that we have continued with the beautiful gray tile with that wood feel to it. And for these rooms, they also have their own bathrooms. You have to appreciate the people who are going to be working on these properties day in and day out, making sure everything is running as it should. So they should have a space that feels really private. And you can see through my movement, you can come out from the kitchen and then easily access this area and it feels really really private without having to like walk through the living room you have to think about little things like that so we have a big space in here i can see we could have the the headboard over here or right over here that is to be seen again make sure you're subscribed when i come back this work would have gone so much further along and looking at the bathrooms as well you can see from the tile we have not skimped in here either we are going to have the rainfall shower and i want you guys to come a bit closer and take a look pay attention to these little details right look at the brands that we're using because you'll notice that it is consistent throughout the house. We are not choosing like, oh, a super exclusive and bougie brand for the master bedroom. And then coming to the DSQ and being like, oh, let's just get something cheap. No, we want quality through and through. And I think that is just why we have so many people who love calling us and why we have multiple clients in Uganda. We will have a sink right over there and a toilet bowl over there. And of course we have the nice big window for light and air and all that good stuff. This is the uh, exact same room as the other one, but I can tell from this side that the dimension of the window is quite different, but it has the same effectiveness. You just need all that light to come in. They are twins, so the spaces are quite similar. And I'm seeing we've also kept the tile in the bathrooms quite consistent as well. So let's continue. What else can you find in this one structure? We're not done yet. There is so much to see. It just amazes me how multifaceted this one structure is. As I said, when I came here before, I was like, yeah, this is what it's gonna be, but just really seeing it come into fruition is a whole different experience. So let's continue. Awesome. We also have a storage space over here. This is a space where the client really can decide whatever things they don't need in the house, they're gonna have it in here. But as a company, what we're gonna do is create that storage. We're gonna to talk to them and be like, what things do you think over time you're gonna to need to maybe place elsewhere temporarily? And once they tell us, we'll be able to customize all the cabinetry to accommodate those items. This also, the space does have the big window and a nice big opening. It is amazing. Light, guys, light makes such a beautiful, like element into any space. We're not done just yet. Don't get tired. Like you guys should have hunkered down. You should have had a cup of tea or something because we have a lot to see. So over here, we have a corridor. So we have this corridor. There's a bit of an echo right now, but this is where we're gonna have the changing rooms and the bathrooms and shower because the next space we're gonna look at is the pool. And you know we want to create a whole experience of it. We want it to be a place that just feels super luxe. Like I talked about how inside the house we want that spa feel. Here you wanna feel like you're at a resort. So we're gonna have the showers and changing rooms there. And then now, now over here we have this 
massive space that is going to be an entertainment area. You've seen the pools we've designed. You know we like either having a gazebo or an element like that where you can have your drinks or maybe have a few snacks or just lounge and really enjoy as people are in the pool just swimming and having a good old time. But we have gone a step further as well. So we're gonna head to my favorite part. You guys know I love a good pool. So we're gonna head over to the pool and see what we're doing and what we're implementing over on that side. So my favorite part of any project is the pool. I have mentioned I'm a fish before, but I, I love how we go an extra step when it comes to these areas. We have such a huge, Huge pool here. I love a simple shape and I think this is perfect for this area, but right next to it, we have a lounge. So you can see we have a couple of steps right over here. I'm not gonna go all the way down, but this is going to be a sunken lounge. So you can sit in there, there's gonna be a fire pit. It just makes it really easy to transition between one entertainment space to the other. You're done swimming, you just wanna chill. You can just take these steps, walk down, and I'm sure whatever's gonna be in there is gonna be water resistant because these two spaces are designed to work well together. And then once you're done, you can just go off and have your drinks and enjoy and get entertained. Another thing I really, really love is the fact that I can see from here, the master bedroom looks like it's gonna have a really big opening. So it's gonna have incredible views of this side of the house. But we're not done yet. We're not done just yet. There's more space to entertain. These houses are designed to have as many of your loved ones as possible, your friends, your family. So I am walking up a beautiful set of stairs. I always talk about fine urban stairs because they're just so easy to walk on and so evenly spaced. And these ones look like they're gonna have that classic touch of the light under each step. So you're really gonna know you're entering a space that where you're meant to relax and enjoy and you know, entertain feel entertained so we have a nice roof stop a rooftop roof stop <laughs> we have a nice rooftop <laughs> rooftop space up here i can see that the tile is done we look we have something that looks like a fire pit meaning we're going to have a couple of seats up here of course one of the things that you guys usually are on edge about when i show properties at this stage is like cynthia <sighs> Someone could fall. <laughs> Someone could fall up on those stairs. There's no safety around here. We're gonna do that. These are ongoing projects. I wanna show you guys as we're working on projects so that you can really see like, are we making an impact? So trust me, we're gonna have some grills all around, whether it's glass or something made from iron. That is to be seen. I keep telling you, stay subscribed so you can see that with me. But let's take a moment. Spaces like this these um, places that we see opportunities for our clients to enjoy their environment, we're always going to take them on. We will tour your house. We will see that you have so much greenery around you, so much beauty. But then if you have a house that's already been built, you're like, um, you don't have any balconies. You don't have any rooftop lounge areas to enjoy all that. And we will work that into the design. And that's what we've done here. So as I'm standing up here, I am getting a really clear view of the surroundings and it feels like magic. It's like the perfect union. Fine Urban and this client are the perfect union and this environment because we've been talking about going green. We love greenery, we love adding it to our projects, but most of all, we love coming to areas where you already have an abundant, abundant view of greenery here i'm seeing as i told you i don't know if it's banana trees or mataki trees they're all around here i'm seeing all the hills i am seeing so much grass i absolutely love this feel so we are back to the front of the house and there's this wall here <laughs> it really does feel quite out of place i remember walking in because this wasn't here when i was here last and i'm like I'm seeing all this beautiful molding on the perimeter wall. What is going on here? And I had a chance to talk to the lead designer, Mr. Cleofas Nyagaka, who was able to explain to me, like, Cynthia, have you forgotten that we not only like incorporating greenery, but also like sounds of water? Like you want the, the visual element of nature, but you also want the auditory ex uh, experience of nature. So this is going to be a grand waterfall. <laughs> My goodness, I can't wait to see it. Every time I'm walking through these properties, I'm getting callbacks to 
sites we've already done. And I know that this is not going to look like the other one. So I'm so excited to see what it's going to be like. Right now, I am thinking of Runda Havana again, or the house we did back in Nakuru, where we had just running water. And it's the most calming sound you can hear. So having a massive one here right by the entrance, and you can hear it from the bedrooms as well. Like, what more could you ask for? What more could you ask for in a dream home? So here we have the perimeter wall and I just want to get into the details. These tend to be a labor of love. I've talked about how in Kenya or in Uganda, we don't necessarily always have the latest technology to make things easier. But what we do have in abundance is talented people who just need the opportunity. And that's something that we're consistently doing. And that's how you find people who have the skills to create things like this by hand. So every one of these, we're going to walk through and see all the perimeter wall because it's all around the house. You're going to see all these details. Like I want you guys to appreciate all the levels of this design. We have this first section here and then we have the swoop with the rounded edges and then it's just like layer after layer. That takes a lot of time and care and to think it's going to be done all around. Uh, can I say dedication? That is, that is dedication, that is care, that is love, and that's what we provide at Fine Urban. So you can see that detail there. You can see even at the top, we pride ourselves on our molding. You guys know this at this point. If you find Fine Urban, you're going to find some beautiful molding. And then you can see in between, we're also going to have more elements. This looks like a picture frame. It's so perfect. And I'm sure with everything else that's going to go on in here, which is probably going to be greenery. You guys know us by now. We're going to have a lot of lush greenery in this area. So these elements and these details are really going to play well with that as well. Now, as we're looking over on that side, of course, you have to think your um, clients experience coming into their property. We are still sourcing the best gate for this. You know, gates also one of those things that the material needs to be great. The design needs to match the elements within the house itself. And it just needs to be something that's simple to use as well. So we're still sourcing the gate. It's going to be a big gate. And then also working on the driveway into the house. It has been yet another successful tour of a beautiful home here in Uganda. As I was coming through those winding roads all the way from Kampala and getting the, a view of the beautiful greenery all around Uganda and thinking I'm going all the way to Bushanyi. I did not know what was waiting for me on the other side, but I have had a chance to tour it today and the progress is incredible. This is going to be a standout house. Throughout the video, I have told you guys to make sure that you're subscribed. I'm gonna do that again here at the end of the video. These journeys do take time, but it is so important to see them step by step so you can truly appreciate all the work that goes into it. And if you have made it this far into the video, I wanna give you a big thank you. And I hope that you guys are gonna be here with me next time when I come back or on another project as well. So with that, I will bid you farewell and I'll see you guys in the next video.